light of frequency 6.62 times 10 raised to power 14 hertz is incident on a metal surface of work function 1.3 electron volts calculate the one wavelength of the light two energy of light three energy of the emitted electrons and the constant the Planck constant equals 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second the speed of light equals 3.0 times 10 to 8 meters per second one electron volt equals 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19 joules now let's get this done solution one we know that the speed of a wave is equal to the frequency times its wavelength so therefore the wavelength is equal to the speed all over the frequency so the wavelength of light is going to be equal to the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 raised to power 8 divided by the frequency of the incident light which is 6.0 six two times ten raised to power fourteen hertz so when you press your calculator and you divide this you're going to get an approximate value of four point five three times ten raised to power minus seventeen meters so this is the wavelength of the incident light now let's look for the energy of light two to calculate the energy of light of light we are going to use the equation the energy of light is equal to the Planck constant times the frequency so this is going to give us E equals Planck constant is 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule seconds times the frequency of the incident light which is 6.62 times 10 raised to the power 14 hertz then from our calculator e is going to give us a 4.37 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules we can quickly convert this to electron volts so the energy in electron volt is given as e equals 4.37 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 divided by one electron volt which is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules and from our calculator this is going to give us 2.73 electron volts now to calculate the energy of the electrons the energy of the electrons is actually the kinetic energy possessed by the electron when they are emitted from the uh, surface of the matter. Now the energy of the incident light is equal to the work function of the matter plus the kinetic energy of the accelerating electron. This is the Einstein's equation. of photoelectric effects so from this we can make this the subject of the formula so the kinetic energy of the electron equals to the energy of the photon of the incident light minus the work function of the melter so ek e sub k that is the kinetic energy of the electron equals the energy of the photons in electron volts 2.73 electron volts we calculated that earlier before minus the work function of the metal from the question is 1.3 electron volts so from our calculator this is going to give us 1.43 electron volts now this energy can be converted back to joules by multiplying by one electron volt which is 1.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules so in joules the kinetic energy is equal to 1.43 times 
1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules and from our calculator this is going to give us 2.29 I have approximated this times 10 to the power minus 19 joules I did approximate this to two decimal places because from the questions the, at the beginning of the question the frequency was given to 6 point as 6.62 which is to two decimal place so we can write our answer to two decimal place or one decimal place because the work function of the meter was giving us 1.3 electron volt which is to one decimal place so this can also be given up to as 2.3 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules to one decimal place.